Hi everyone, I'm Minko from the Angular team, and I'm here to share the latest on standalone APIs. Back in 2022, we announced our plans to introduce a set of standalone APIs that would improve developer ergonomics, reduce the amount of boilerplate, and move Angular development forward. Since then, we've heard from the community that you all love the improved developer experience. We're thrilled to have unlocked so much potential for Angular features. In this video, I'll share with you everything about the improvements in the routing APIs we introduced in version 15 and all the tooling that we landed in version 16. Before the introduction of standalone APIs, lazy loading routes was a multi-step process, which relied on modules. Consider this example. We have a child module which declares the item's route. In the routes array, we use the load children syntax to import the items module, which contains the corresponding routes. This seems like too much code and too much work to lazy load routes, and well, we agree. Let's check out the new and improved lazy loading syntax in version 15. With standalone APIs, we can simply declare an array of routes and use load children with a dynamic import to lazily load the child routes. Later, we can pass the routes array to provide router or just export it if these are child routes. That's it. No more modules. No for child. That's just way less complexity and it is way more immediately clear what this code does. There's actually one more feature that we would like to highlight. Check this out. Remember, there was no direct way to lazy load components. The only way to achieve this was through load children. Well, thanks to standalone APIs, we can now dynamically lazy load a component by using the loads component property on the route definition. In this example, the items component is lazy loaded and the code is much clearer. You can learn more about the improved router APIs on goo.gle slash angular dash standalone dash routing. So what's new for the standalone APIs in version 16? We made improvements to the tooling story. Now developers can create apps bootstrapped with the new standalone APIs using the standalone flag with nginu. With this change, you will no longer need to manually convert your applications after creating them. All right, but what about our existing apps? Great question. We have something for you too. We're also announcing new schematics that will allow teams to migrate their applications from ng-module-based to standalone APIs. By running ng-generate at angular slash core column standalone. The schematics will guide you through options to convert your components, directives, and pipes to use standalone APIs. It will also assist you through removing unnecessary ng-modules and even converting your app to bootstrap using standalone APIs. You can even choose to migrate specific parts of your application by specifying a path to the migration tool. To get started, check out the migration guide at angular.io forward slash guide forward slash standalone dash migration. You can use this tooling today to start taking advantage of all that standalone APIs have to offer.